So can you explain what the Yiddish Book Center's internship was when you were there? Yes. So this was, I guess, 1994, the summer of 1994. And um, we would learn Yiddish in the morning with uh, Robert Shapiro. He was just great. And I really enjoyed, he gave us a really solid um, basis for building on. And then, of course, I feel that the books themselves were a major Yiddish teacher. We would actually work in the warehouse in Mount Holyoke, Massachusetts, and we had a pallet. Then we would start unpacking books and identifying them and shelving them and the wonderful smell of the books, which any literature lover or book lover can't get enough of. What a fantastic perfume. And which is still, I can still, when I go to visit the book center now, the first thing I do is smell the books. And um, so we would shelve the books and study Yiddish and we lived in, you know, all we shared a couple of apartments and we went to Puffer's Pond and it was just a, a lot of fun. Well, it was very exciting. And, you know, also when you're a college student and you're tr entering a new topic, you know, you kind of can become overwhelmed of it. But then we had this physical kind of sensory body experience of touching an entire literature and looking at the titles and then seeing all these rows of books and okay they were maybe a couple of floors in a warehouse but you still had the sense like oh I could I can handle this I can figure out read all of these books um, and then you just you I mean books are such totems and you felt the love and the care of the authors that had these of the right of the readers that had these books and you had a sense that maybe they, you know, might not have paid for groceries one time to get these books and how beautifully they were preserved. And they were often, many of them had notes from the author handwritten in the cover. And um, it was tremendously exciting to begin to have a window into um, what these books contained. And, you know, I, I saw copies of my mother's Sabbath days, Demami Shabosi and Baichan Grada. They were rare. His books were hard to get. You weren't allowed to buy them. But I would sit and I would look at it and I'd be able to figure out, you know, the chapter headings and the titles. And 